My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. We are having biscuits and gravy. I do have a video on our channel showing how I make my sausage gravy. It is so easy. I'll make sure to link it in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are having a freezer meal for dinner tonight. We are having General Tso's chicken from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. And then we are also having some of their chicken spring rolls as well. And then I just sauteed some um, fresh broccoli and Howard is having his with brown rice. I don't really care for brown rice, so I'm not having any with our dinner. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe tonight. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. I had to make some modifications based on what I had on hand, but um, I have a tube of the thin crust uh, Pillsbury pizza crust. I have it spread out. The recipe actually calls for a loaf of frozen bread dough. And then I am going to spread this mixture on. It is a mixture of olive oil, the grated Parmesan cheese, the kind that comes in the can. There is uh, ranch, the dry ranch uh, dressing in here. And then it calls for oregano, which I did not have. I had Italian seasoning. And so that's what I have in here as well. And I am just going to spread this all over the crust. Next, I'm going to spread my bacon and chicken all over. And next you're supposed to top it with mozzarella. I didn't realize I didn't have any mozzarella cheese, so I am using this uh, Mexican four cheese blend. And now I'm just going to roll this up. Okay, so I'm going to cut a few slits on the stromboli and I'm going to place it on my um, baking sheet that I have lined with parchment paper. And I'm gonna bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. Okay, so here is a stromboli. I ended up baking this for about 27 minutes. Let me get in closer for you all. So this is what it looks like. And then on the side, I am just serving some good old Kraft macaroni and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having an oldie but goodie. This is pasta with broccoli rabe. I started making this about a year and a half ago. I've shared it on our channel several times. I love it so much. It just calls for a few simple ingredients. I'll make sure to link that original video in the description box that you all will have it. And with it, I am just serving these mini croissants that I love so much from Trader Joe's. I always tell you guys, it's best to let these thaw and proof before you bake them. They are really um, a good sized croissant. It says mini, but they're actually pretty big. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, Howard grilled some pork steaks. I have pork steaks in my freezer. And this is the marinade that we used. I picked this up on a recent Costco haul and we're trying it out for the first time today. And we both like it, it's good. It reminds us of teriyaki sauce. I will link that um, grocery haul in the description box so you all can check it out. With it, I just stir fried some fresh broccoli and this was the seasoning that I used. And then I also made a side of Parmesan cheese pasta entrees, kind of like pastaroni, but this is the Aldi version. Tried that out for the first time today. It's okay, not as flavorful to me as pastaroni. And the vermicelli is actually in small pieces, so it's not, they're not long noodles, they're kind of, sh they're short noodles actually. But it's okay. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. I prefer the pastaroni version. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.